member for Dartmouth North. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Premier. In October of 2013, the Premier stood with employees on the floor of a Halifax studio and told this province that he would expand the film tax credit by extending it for five years. In that same announcement, the Premier said the sound recording, film and digital media tax credits are a recognition that our path to prosperity lies with the people of this province. Uh, that was a quote, and I'll table it. Two years later, the film tax credit was slashed, and hundreds of those same people of this province have been forced to up and leave to other provinces to find more reliable work. Mr. Speaker, with a picket of workers who feel that they have been misled by this government circling this house for the last several days, can the Premier please explain to all the workers of this province why they so often hear one thing but then see another? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank those in the film industry. Mr. Mr. Speaker, we continue to invest in our province. We have a competitive uh, Film tax credit uh, uh, puts us in the marketplace, Mr. Speaker. I want to tell the honourable member, uh, unemployment is at an all-time low, Mr. Speaker. Uh, more young people are seeing the future for themselves in this province, creating jobs and opportunities not only for themselves but for others. Yesterday, I was at Dash Hudson, Mr. Speaker, where there were 100 young people who are creating jobs in this province, who are creating an opportunity for themselves. And, Mr. Speaker, they are one of many workplaces that have seen tremendous growth in this province because of decisions this government has made around GTOP investing in them, ensuring small business taxes lower, Mr. Speaker. That's what happens, Mr. Speaker, when you have a government that works with the private sector to create job opportunities. And I want to assure the honourable member, Nova Scotians are recognizing it, and they're recognizing it by living and working and staying here. The honourable member for Dermot North. Mr. Speaker, this province does not have a film tax credit. We do not have a tax credit. And that is the uh, entry into my next point. Sorry for banging the microphone. Mr. Speaker, the film industry across no North America has done the analysis to determine where the greatest value for, this pr for their productions can be found. They have easy tables and calculators that plainly show which provinces will provide the best value for their money in the way of tax credits and incentives. Since this government cancelled the tax credit, Nova Scotia has now fallen to the bottom of this list, or very nearly. Nova Scotia is the only province in the country where foreign location and service production, these are frequently the large foreign productions representing over half of the industry's value, has decreased. And it has decreased to less than 1% of the national share. Mr. Speaker, will the Premier admit, finally, that when it comes to the film tax credit, he has made a mistake? The Honourable Premier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank uh, the Honourable Question. Mr. Speaker, the reality is there are 40, 51 productions currently, Mr. Speaker, that are going on inside of our province. The Honourable Member talks about foreign investment. Mr. Speaker, the reality of it is... Uh, uh, what's provided to, to films across this province is a credit for all of the Nova Scotia spend, Mr. Speaker. We're recognizing the investment not only in labour when it comes to that film, or in labour when it comes to the offshoots, Mr. Speaker, whether it's in hotels, whether it's in food, or other aspects, Mr. Speaker, of hiring local Nova Scotians, Mr. Speaker. How can the honourable member be against looking for jobs for Nova Scotians? The unemployment is at an all-time low, Mr. Speaker. It's working. Let's celebrate the private sector. Let's celebrate the young people who are choosing to live and make a difference in our community. 